So I'm sad to report, if you've been following the vlog about my father, that uh, he's gotten worse and uh, they're now saying it's not looking very positive. His own um, interior bacteria is now attacking him. So uh, they said it's likely that he'll just keep getting more and more and more infections till eventually he succumbs to it. Uh, given that the, the radiation stuff they put in him is apparently turned his liver to mush and uh, yeah it's just not looking too good for him so he's back in hospital again and uh, I think we're just hoping for the best at the moment that he's not suffering um, and then I guess he can continue to get some kind of quality out of whatever time's left to him uh, but the doctor's now saying weeks as opposed to months so I guess that's one of those things. Uh, yeah, so it's been a bit of a shock. Uh, I think we were all expecting he was going to get better um, and that the, the treatment would give him some time at least, but um, unfortunately with uh, the failings of North Shore Hospital, um, doesn't look like it's gonna be the case. Uh, it looks like the bacterial infections will probably finish him off long before the cancer gets him. That's pretty horrible. So I'm a little bit torn about what to do. I keep offering to go home and I keep getting told don't bother, don't, don't, don't come. Um, you know, don't bother coming to see him, it's not worth it for five minutes. And uh, I don't know. I don't know who's to judge whether five minutes is worth it to somebody or not. Or, you know, even just to, to see my mum to help her through it. I mean, we're all you know, admittedly we're not all dying in a bed, but we're all kind of suffering through it in our own way and working out how to deal with it and, you know, processing the way that we feel. And, uh, you know, it kind of surprises me to be kept up late at night stressing about it. I know Karina's taking it pretty hard. He's, um, it's bringing up a lot of things for when she lost her father, you know, and, and of course the little one and how she deals with it. I mean, biggest experience she's had with death so far has been the dog uh, which um, you know as much as my as I miss my dog I'm kind of you know grateful I guess we had that experience for her because she's sort of handling it reasonably well you know it's pretty awful though so I, I don't know what to do now I don't really want to go over if I'm not wanted which is pretty much how I'm feeling right now but, uh, you know, I guess for me, uh, my best memories are when he was here last, so, you know, I suppose the best way to look at that is, is he was well then and he was not sick and, you know, maybe that's the best way to remember him. So I've got a few other things going on at the moment too, which <laughs> is inevitably the way. Unfortunately, change never comes singly. But, uh, I'm also coming up to my renewal again for my contract and uh, my boss is being difficult because it's easier for him. Ah, there's a lawnmower. Making the loop of annoyance. Um, yes, it's been difficult because he's trying to he's trying to take the same amount of money that he's got left over for six months and split it in half so we can get two people. Unfortunately that means a $60,000 pay decrease for six months worth of what is effectively contract work with no sort of guarantee again but with that no longer giving you the money that you deserved um, well not just deserved but covering things like entitlements and stuff like that and you know when you finish and you kind of need that money to tide you over to the next engagement so 
a little bit frustrated with him as well at the moment, having to deal with that while everything else is going on. Um, I've told him what I want. I've tried to meet him part way in. Um, tried to go, you know, tried to negotiate to what I think is an acceptable limit. It's not necessarily contract rates, but um, you know, sort of said to him, "Well, I'm happy to take a cut if you sort of meet me at about this level here." and 12 months would be nice, so at least then I don't have to stress about trying to find something else in 6 months. But uh, no, he's not having it, he won't negotiate or anything, because that means he's got to go back and he's got to ask for some more money, so... I think he needs to put his big boy trousers on. And uh, go and sort it out. So I'm a bit fed up with being undercut for what I'm actually worth all the time, for always taking pay cuts and everything else, and putting up with everybody's shit, so... I think I'm going to roll the dice and see what happens on that one. But, um, anyway, he's got a couple of weeks. Let's see if he he can come back with a more reasonable offer. And if not, I guess we'll be moving on to something else. More change. Great. My favourite. Not really. No. some flying before the rain hits us this afternoon. It's already starting to look overcast and a bit sad. Unfortunately this is winter, but I can't really complain. It doesn't rain that much. It's just a little bit cold, cooler. Frankly it's better than summer anyway. Nobody likes 42 degrees C. It's horrible. Anyway, I recommend uh, if you're wanting to get better at piloting a drone, um, it's good to start high when you're learning, uh, less things to hit, uh, but definitely advise finding a nice big field and just practicing things like cornering and stuff while low to the ground and weaving in and around objects and things like that. I really feel like uh, my confidence and skill is improving vastly with it. Um, obviously be careful of people because we don't want anybody to lose any appendages. Uh, yeah, definitely I recommend doing some practicing, do some low runs up and down the field. Uh, something like a, uh, you know, soccer posts and things that you can use as sort of uh, speed gates and stuff. It's good fun. If you've enjoyed the video, please click on the subscribe button below and tap the little bell next to it so that you get notifications when new ones come out. And uh, I hope you'll stick with me and uh, hopefully we'll try and improve the vlog and get it exciting. Um, feel free to leave comments. What would you like to see? Uh, ask questions. I'm happy to answer questions. Uh, anything you want to know. So, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.